Hey everybody, this is Chad Daniels, and you have landed in the middle of somewhere fantastic new Thursday edition. Across from me, several miles away, is Sciagra, Sialis, Sionitsen. Hello, we're on video. We're doing video kill the radio star. Um, I don't like any of that. Well, you don't have to. It's, uh, that's, I'm so far away from you, what are you going to do to me? That's fair. Turn your, turn your computer off or not get a story I told? No, oh, uh, come well. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, we're trying this. Now, there's mm -hmm. no hay bales. There's no uh, queso hermano. No queso hermano. There's no cheese bro. We do have guac dog, but we muted him because we're sick yep. of it. We're get sick of it. Get the fuck out of here. Get the Thank fuck you. out of here. Thank you. Um, what we're going to try is a, is a new segment that I like to call, and I think you agreed, Cy learned it. Now I know it's- <laughs> learned it. Now I know it's Cy learned it, but I think it's even funnier to say, if we could do something like, hey y'all gather around, cause Cy learned it. Ding, 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 ding. I, I love that idea, cause people think you're white trash, even though you're not even close, and I think it's fantastic. And, and well, I mean, you have, you're 80% of the reason people think that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fun for me. It's the other twenty, the other twenty percent is the reality of the stories that I've told, and then <laughs> you're the eighty percent of like that has geared it up. But yeah, I like I like so I learned it because I Listen, feel like I learned it. I know that someday your back is going to be better, and you're going to start beating me in sports again. So this is my strategy: oh, it's God, to really that's... come over the top with this white trash thing. That sounds really nice. So what what this is about is uh, sometimes you say things to me. And I have to sit down because my legs and brain won't work at the same time because of everything that's happened. And okay. so, so this is one of these, uh, one of these things. Now, now, what was your question initially? Do you remember? Yeah. So the, the idea is each, each week when we do this, I'm going to research a question that you made me research, right? Well, yeah, because it's, um, when you say it to me out loud, it, it's like, uh, I'm glad no one else is around there so <laughs> i think this pilot episode i well i was driving and i drove by somebody's yard and i saw two dogs having sex <laughs> and i always think that's the funniest thing in the world and right. then i like as i was driving away i started thinking how funny would it be if you were just minding your normal day's business and you drove by a yard and there were two dogs just drilling each other missionary style instead right. of just like one dog's just got the other dog's <laughs> hind legs sprawled out and they're just face to face making love. And so I think the question that I asked you was, do any other non-human animals bang it out missionary? I believe that's true. And, and I do know of a couple. Okay. Uh, and I do know of some really weird mating rituals, but uh, I'm going to let you Tell everybody uh, what Cy learned. What I learned. Well, let me tell you, let me first of all say that I went to research this. And as we know about me, I, uh, I started researching it. <laughs> and then I just learned a bunch of like, I, I'm not going to sit here and promise you that anything I've learned is correct. And more importantly, pronounced correctly. So I don't need any assholey comments. Like they're called Antiquus, Cy. Like I tried my best and got distracted a lot. Yeah, we don't need any messages from Oregon talking about how to, <laughs> how to tell us how to say things. This is, we're trying, okay? We're in goddamn quarantine with the rest of you. So here, here is the preliminary answer I got. One, there are two types of non-human mammals that in kind of missionary sex. The first one is cetaceans or okay. cetaceans. These are whales, Chad, okay. and dolphins. And they- oh, yeah. They belly to belly, blow holes out, tummy to tummy. I don't think that counts. I don't think it's missionary. And I don't think they should get credit for it. That Because that's just like, they don't have limbs. Sure. That's, that's just be like, hey, like, if you're a squid, <laughs> you just fucking mash your gross squid bottom, I, I'm sure, against another squid. This isn't missionary. Right. It's just belly to belly. Like, and right. they're, getting, they're getting credit on the internet for missionary. It's not. I love, I love that you think these dolphins are somehow hearing about this credit they're getting and really <laughs> liking it. 
But there, there they're was the a, smartest mammals. They're the smartest true. mammals. That is true. There was a video going around. I don't know if you know this. A dolphin dick looks a lot like a person dick. And here's how I know this. There was a video a long time ago going around where it was like a hand given a hand job. And you were like, well, that's, that's like a kind of a weird dick, but looks kind of normal. And then it pulled back and it was a dolphin. Oh, bummer. True. That's a huge bummer to think I about. And I don't know if they took it down because I tried to find it because I thought that would be the new funny, like a uh, guy sitting on the bed with the giant dick. <laughs> it's not. No, no, I know. <laughs> also, just as a heads up, if you, if the first thing you Google is dolphin missionary sex, you are going to get no dolphin information at all. You're going to get so much anime porn stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> right. Or you're going to get like Dan Marino taking it in the rear. <laughs> also, also, how big of a bummer would it be to not like be able to like, if your world was not being able to bend over for sex, because that's their whole thing. <laughs> they don't have waists. <laughs> so the other non- Cetacean cetacean is primates, monkeys, and whatnot, the right. chimpanzees of the world. And uh, a, a bunch of information I learned here. First and foremost, and I'm just going to throw it at you, in captivity, gorillas have sex face-to-face. -face. And, uh, right. but, and this is a quote from a guy named Thomas Brewer, from the Max Planck Institute of Evo Evolutionary Anthropology. He goes, but it's difficult to draw conclusions about ape behavior from these animals. They are brought up in a very different environment. And all I could think about was that what that means is there's just a zookeeper once a day walking by the gorilla cage and just pushing play on Genuine's pony. <laughs> I think they do that because they know humans are watching and they're just like, look at how stupid you look when you have sex. Do, yeah, well, that's the bummer. Where'd they learn it? Where'd you learn right. it? Exactly. Is, there some, is there some zookeepers fucking in, in the back here? And they're like, oh, let's try that. We're monkeys. Let's, let's, let's give that a whirl. Uh, that's the, disgusting to think about. It's, but it's, how else do they learn it? I have no idea. Western, dude, Western gorillas have only ever been seen doggy style in it but sure. and get this there's one single in 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 a national park in the republic of congo there's one singular female gorilla named leah which i don't know what fucking dorky white anthropologist like fucking monkey studier decided to name a bad ass gorilla in a national park in the republic of congo leah but Message from middle of summer. You're a fucking nerd and a bummer. <laughs> and you watch so much Star Wars and no amount of cinnamon buns on that gorilla's ears are going to make it Princess Leia. So quit jerking off in the jungle, you freak. So Leah lets the dominant male in her pack, George, plow her face to face. That is the only <laughs> example. And then in all this stuff that I read, there was this like really funny, tiny note that said... For uh, mountain gorillas, apparently there's a shit ton of different gorillas. I just thought a gorilla was a gorilla is a gorilla. Oh, Cyrus. There's so many gorillas. I know. It's great. There's, there's Western gorilla, mountain gorilla, Chad Daniels gorilla. There's Thank so, you. There's so many different gorillas. I um, think that's why I know about all the gorillas is because when my hip was bad, I used to move around like a silverback. <laughs> and sometimes I will just send a silverback emoji to people because that's my body type. I think that it's cute that you think that was because of your hip and it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so with, with mountain gorillas, they have, there was one guy, his name, his last name was like Baron Gay, Baron Guy. And it says they've never been seen to have sex face to face except for a single brief unphotographed observation which means one of two things. Either this guy is trying so hard to impress the other monkey watchers. He's like, no, Cheryl, I swear, he fucked her face to face. Or this guy spent his life 
dedicated to probably watching a dude in a monkey suit. I was just going to say, the reason he couldn't grab his camera is because he was busy having sex with a mountain gorilla. <laughs> that seems about right to me. Now, I do have an interview from Leah. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. The jungle, the jungle here, and it's been transcribed, but it does say, uh, uh, why, why face to face with only George? And her response is, uh, he squeezes my tits too hard. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's right on the, I, I got that from a, a, a Google search. A Google search. <laughs> the, so here's the official answer. There is one animal that consistently does missionary style sex. Uh, they are a member of the primate family. I believe it's pronounced bonobos or bonobos. Bonobo, B-O-N-O-B-O-S. Bonobos, which just so we're clear, sounds like like a fratty brand of dildos. <laughs> <laughs> the shit's bonobos. B O N O B O S. Hey, Chance. Hey, yeah, you're gonna, you've been having struggling to plug your ass lately. You got to get one of these bonobos, bro. <laughs> Flush it up there, man. Grab a bonobo. Dude, bonobos are fucking bonkers. They are sex maniacs. There's a woman who wrote a book and the all about bonobo sex and it's called the bonobo handshake because often these monkeys just greet each other by fucking and it's like dude mm -hmm. it's a it's like a roman monkey orgy at all times in the bonobo community i'm talking man on man woman on woman yep. all bunch of them mixed together the oldest bonobo with the youngest bonobo we're it, it's like weird foreplay stuff Bonobos sure. are wild. Um, I'm actually, I have a prediction that humans are going to start doing that after the quarantine. <laughs> I, I think it's, someone's going to walk into a room and just go, monkey style, and then <laughs> boom, everybody. And that, like all these fucking hillbillies who hate evolution, the fact that none of them did enough research to be like, I didn't come from no damn monkey. Well, you know what? Maybe that monkey, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa, come, come look at what the bonobos are doing. <laughs> Teresa, in. I am part bonobo. Get, you, get your sister, Teresa, and let's, let's bonobo. I'm an evolutionist now. <laughs> I'm going to hang from this tree, and you guys are going to... They have a son, and there's no doubt his name is Bo, middle name Nobo. <laughs> no doubt, in my mind. So with all that said, did you come up with any other, um, did you find any interesting like mating habits with the animals? Oh, yes. In, I'm fact, sure you I, did. in fact, I did, Chad. Uh, well, here's, <laughs> I, here's the thing. I think I probably could have learned more about bonobos and, uh, and gorillas and shit. But you know when you're on the internet and you're like, oh, what if I just click this link? And then you click that link. And then you're just nine pages away yeah. listening to the craziest shit you've ever heard in your entire life. Yep. So that is absolutely what I did. Okay. So let me just give you, Chad, a highlight list of basically the weird, like, animal sex shit that I learned, and I'll let you come along for that ride. Um, can we distance ourselves somehow? I don't know that I want to be part of this yet. No, you are a part of it from the okay. very start. Okay, great. I'm ready. <laughs> So, <laughs> number one, leopard slugs. Have you ever heard of a leopard slug? Um, I don't know. I feel like they're just the ones with the with the spots. They look like leopards, I would guess. Sure. I didn't even yeah. see a picture. They have sex while dangling in midair. Dangle, dangle. Dangle, dangle, baby. Dangle, dangle, you slutty little leopard slug. <laughs> uh, according to Slate, which is, I guess, a site that we're citing, uh, hermaphroditic slugs in heat will circle each other for hours engaging engaging in foreplay that includes nibbling biting and tail whipping and the end of that is so interesting that a slug would be involved in foreplay that you just gloss over the fact that they were that they were like hey slugs have both parts they're a they're a they're a right. they're they're a d and p flying out because you're so busy focused on the tail whip well, 
I, and I also read this, if you put your ear close enough to them while they're circling each other, you can hear them going, oh yeah. That's just, I just read that from the website. This, dude, when things really heat up, speaking of reading from the d website, I don't even need a joke here. I'll just give it to you. When things really heat up, they lower themselves from a branch on a thick string of mucus, probably Sexy. some, Sexy. really hot. They entwine their bodies and then their penises, often half the length of their bodies will emerge from the back of their heads <laughs> so that they can inseminate one another. Wow. Now there's obviously a dickhead joke here that we're going to skip. Yes. Yeah, we're better um, than that. But that's pretty incredible. That's like a weird dangly 69 type thing. It is. Yeah. The, it's a very, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to picture it. Uh, you want to know what I pictured? Because they're dangling on strings. Like the honest thing I thought about while I was reading this by myself in my house, I just started envisioning in the Spider-Man movie. You remember where <laughs> Tobey Maguire is dangling and Kirsten, upside down, and she flips his thing up and kisses him. I just imagined dicks coming out of each of their heads and going into each other's skulls. So that's when. Here's the thing. That was when I was like, Sai, you should stop. Yeah. This, is, this is enough for the episode. And then I found out like seven more things. Oh, good. I'm so ready. Buck, buckle up. Another thing I can't pronounce, the, the Antiquus. A Antichinus. A-N-T-E-C-H-I-N-U-S. It's a tiny rodent. Okay. It's found down under in Australia. Okay. Ananda. And this is a tough sentence, but I'm going to give it to you. It literally fucks itself to death. Oh, yeah. They only have 10 months before their bodies stop producing sperm. So they enter oh. into this intense two-week-long, like, fuckathon where they go on, like, 14-hour, like, mating sessions at a time. And then their body starts to slow and shut down from exhaustion. And they're still like, no, I have to. They're like stress hormones and infections <laughs> are setting in and they still just bam 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 until they're just sprawled out on a floor dead from intercourse <laughs> i want to tell you something i have felt like that before but only after several minutes of being on top <laughs> and uh i really have just whispered like hey you might want to leave because i think i'm gonna die yeah, can we, can we, let's move out of animals just for one second, second and discuss that on top, as you, like, when you're young and you're on top, you're like, man, I'm just really psyched to be here. And then you get right. older and you're on top and you're like, if I don't get off you, I'm going to have to have two so shoulder surgeries. Somebody, I'm going to file for permanent disability if I have to have five consecutive minutes of sex on top of you. Yeah, I remember um, when I was younger, getting a compliment that they could see the, you know, like the pec muscle, the yeah. line right here. And now I have to ask like, hey, are, can you breathe? Are these in your face? <laughs> I mean, it's like, a, it's a little different. Yeah, so you're just motorboating. <laughs> also, the other thing that I, all I could think about with these, the, uh, the mice is it reminded me a lot of uh, Rumspringa. They like have a very, because if you don't, if people who don't know in the Amish community, they have this thing called rumspringa, where I'm not, I think it's 18 years old. I'm not sure what the exact age is. Right. But what they do is they just send their Amish teens out into the normal world to like fuck and eat cake. And then they decide if they want to come back to the Amish community. Right, and yeah. this is what I assume that's like. Rumspringa has to be like being one of these mice who's like, I got I only have 10 <laughs> months to produce semen. <laughs> I've also heard um, Amish people, sometimes they, they let the women go out into communities close by to get pregnant because they need to deepen their gene pool. Otherwise, they're going to be in trouble in about one generation. Interesting. I'm, I yeah. can get on board with that conspiracy theory. Also, I, absolutely. I, I mean, I bought a lake cabin very close to an Amish community just for that reason. Oh, let's do a live episode from there. I, I, have an, I have a lot of respect, and I don't say this jokingly, I have a lot of respect for anybody who returns to an Amish community after their rumspringa. If right. you leave 
and have sex and see TV and you're still like, I'm going to go back to that horse village. Fuck you. There's that's unbelievable to me. Yeah. Here's my impersonation of a, a guy that's gone back using a screwdriver. That's fucking drills where I was two months ago. That's it. <laughs> that's my only impersonation. This one's an interesting one, Chad. Sea barnacles. Okay. They're stationary and they don't have, they don't have vision, which makes it <laughs> makes it difficult to plow. However, comma, uh -oh. to quote you, a barnacle's penis can extend up to eight times its own body size, and then it just blindingly reaches into neighboring shells and deposits sperm inside. <laughs> Which um, I'm just I'm going to get this out front before our show gets canceled. I understand that if the barnacle could see or move, that this isn't acceptable, and Twitter would be canceling sea barnacles right now. Absolutely. But also, it's, pre it's pretty dope. If you could just be at your, t just watching TV and just your penis goes and has sex while you hang out and watch your, sh the only way that's better is if on the way back, your penis makes you a sandwich. Like it's incredible. <laughs> um, one time I saw a black guy snorkel over a sea urchin and the, and the sea urchin just rolled its eyes. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty good, but eight times, not even close, bro. Also, blindingly, I, these must be Hermes as well, or they must be like some mixed gender, because you can't like, unless, I assume just, like, just reaching inside your buddy's, your buddy's barnacle, just, <laughs> just dropping it in there. That's like the ultimate high school locker room shit. Yeah, yeah. Where you're just like, hey, remember last Friday when I got you? Yeah, I'm for sure going to call anytime I jizz in anybody else's house for the rest of my life. I'm calling it sea barnacle. And oh, sea barnacle. I said sea urchin. Same shit. <laughs> They're all urchins. But if at this point, at this point in the episode, if we're all of a sudden going to get technical with our animal terms, That's when I mispronounced eight things, I think we're doing it wrong. Uh, alligators. Okay. So alligators have a round the clock erection. <laughs> Just wow, 24 hours. And it's like, it shoots out and it gets like yanked back in by like a rubber bandy type string. Uh, and all I like around the clock erection. I know that means you should picture like an alligator having an erection just as a thinking, like that's what you would think of. For some reason, I pictured the type of out, like I really humanized it. Like <laughs> what would an alligator who always has a, erections act like and so i was just envisioning just alligators in like jean jackets on their way to like dart tournaments and shit just like <laughs> white trash alligators a lot of alligators named kyle and chad <laughs> because i have dry skin sometimes and i'm like oh maybe i'm part alligator that could also, be also have you this dude this might be a real transit property situation like and i know that's not how you use that term but I don't know if you've ever met a guy who wears alligator skin boots, but I'm pretty sure there's nobody that fucks like that guy. I just picture when you say a rubber band thing that pulls it back, I just picture like in the sky, let's say there is a production team that's putting out these creatures and they're like, Hey, remember that frog with the tongue that can like grab flies from a yard away? <laughs> what, if, what if we made that model in a dick? <laughs> Could we do that? Could we get that hey, tongue model in a dick? Jeff, yeah. You, you see this long, scary frog? We're gonna, we're gonna frog tongue his penis. <laughs> yeah, give him a powerful jaw that shuts and can't open, and then let's put the tongue down by his balls. <laughs> the, here's the best part about alligators. Our friend Mike Cronin told me this when I was talking to him. Never been on the show, Mike Cronin. Tried. Didn't pan out. Didn't make the cut. You know, that's right. So apparently in terms of a gender population, uh, alligators are 11 females to one male. So, <laughs> which 
partially explains the consistent direction. Right. But uh, apparently Mike said what alligators do is they'll just go up on shore because they know that they're vastly outnumbered by women. So they'll just go up on shore and just post up and just wait for the female alligators to come fuck them. Like male alligators act like Girl Scouts. And I know that's a straight, let me get the, the real. I, I already know where you're going with it. Yeah. It doesn't, they can post up with a shitty table outside the world. It doesn't matter. We're all going wherever to get our right. Girl Scout cookies. And that's, alligators are just Girl Scout cookie and sex. I just, I do picture because of what you said before, when the alligators posted up on shore waiting, it seems like exactly what that guy that was going to the dart tournament does in between games at the bar. Just like, what's up, ladies? Just crotches out. Oh. <laughs> also, we like to, I think, and, and we don't have to put our human views out there, but I think you and I both consider ourselves kind of like evolved, you know, progressive type people, right? I hope. Yeah. I think no matter how you think of yourself as a man, like, if you, do you know how and and how even much further the male psyche would revert if we were outnumbered 11 to 1 if you don't think guys would be going to the state fair grabbing a corn dog hopping on a picnic table and be like I'm ready I'm <laughs> she come get it I brought my penis to the fair I'm ready <laughs> And somehow there still wouldn't be a female president. You're like, you guys, get on the same team, please. You're running this thing. Please run, just do it. There's so many of you. Quit yeah. electing the guy with the corn dog. <laughs> um, yes. Pandas. Ooh, panda bear. You, you know I love me a kung fu panda. I know you do, and I know you're going to love this. Pandas are reluctant to mate in captivity. They don't like it. Sure. Right? So scientists have figured out that if you show pandas video of other pandas having sex, it'll oh. make the pandas in captivity have <laughs> sex. So panda porn works. And before I get to my greater point here, mm -hmm. uh, let's just like, I know this is the hackiest comic prep premise, but like there was a guy who figured that out. And I like, <laughs> and I don't know, like, I don't know if it was on purpose or not. That's the oh, worry. That's true. Now, after hearing this fact, I would love to go back and take away the phrase, I love me some Kung Fu Panda. Because that, I feel real gross after I heard the end of this story. No, I want you to own all of that. Also, <laughs> here's the thing. I, let's say, I don't root for an animal to go extinct. I sure. don't think any of us do. Right. But let's say pandas went extinct in the wild. So they only existed in captivity sure and they won't have sex and somehow the world stockpile of panda porn got demolished because somehow whoever you know the corn dog guy he was like we don't need it anymore let's cut funding to panda porn so now there's no panda porn and pandas are going to go extinct in the whole world if we don't get these captivity pandas to fuck i mean that's a that's a dream world where we have to hire zookeepers <laughs> <laughs> to dress up as pandas to save a species. You know, I like to think you could just show them a furry's TikTok. <laughs> just these people. They're already doing it at the clubs and they're putting it on TikTok. Let's bring it into the zoo, Let's man. Do it. Let's zoo it up. <laughs> Last one, and I worked really hard here not to make an R. Kelly joke uh, because I'm already hack enough as it is. I didn't need to take the easy route. Uh, but off air, I'll tell you the 11 I wrote. Male porcupines <laughs> spray the female porcupine with urine to get her in the mood. Interesting. Yeah. That's a real golden showery. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always interesting to me that like, with people, because we have clothes and live in houses, we think we're so much better than animals. And so this, this peeing on stuff, but it's a fetish. 
mm -hmm. in the human world. But then porcupines are just like, is it? That's how we roll. Like, it, they're just, they don't care. They're just nonstop peeing to get stuff to go. Um, now I got another pee story that I knew about before because I love giraffes. Uh, and I don't want to seem like I'm a, an animal pee freak. But when giraffes, um, in order for the male giraffe to figure out that the female giraffe is in heat, it licks, it licks their pee. Oh. From, from off the ground and then and then it knows that it needs to have that neck war with the other giraffes oh and have you seen a giraffe's tongue yeah they're like black. three feet long but and they're, they're like black. three yeah and it's like that's a lot of piss to lick oh i that's mean unbelievable yeah i was hoping we would end this on a really rough note well but i want to say i want to say one you, thing there are guys in bars next to walmarts everywhere <laughs> Fuck the alligator. I'm going to start calling. That's, that's the one, like, I'm going to take away from this episode that I'm going to start calling like those like 38 year old mullety bar guys who would like, you know, they would fuck a broom. Like if it didn't like give them split dick splinters, you know, like those guys like, oh, what if she got a hole? I'll go, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm going to start calling them gator boys. That's going to be my new thing. But a gator that boy, they would lick, they would lick not even human piss they would lick giraffe piss to be able there's to no doubt about it and if you think gator boy is going to be an insult to one of them you're crazy <laughs> um here's just one more thing like if if there's someone listening that doesn't believe in evolution uh there's a puffer so the puffer fish yeah it goes onto the beach and it makes like perfectly symmetrical circular designs to attract the female to it oh and in, if it's not perfectly symmetrical, the female can, she knows that and she'll leave. And to me, that is the human version of going like, hey, babe, just so you know, the art gallery is going to be showing a couple of my pieces. So you should stop by and grab some wine. We absolutely evolve from these devious, dirty ass animals that are just doing everything to get laid. Come look at my circles. Come <laughs> yeah. look at them. You want me to lick that piss? Oh, lick yum yum, yum 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 yum. Now, anytime you see a, anytime you see a crop circle, it's going to be like, oh, an alien's getting laid tonight. Perfect. <laughs> Here's how I think we should end the show. Since okay. I had to go learn this stuff, uh, and again, poorly, I can't imagine that <laughs> much of this was accurate. I think we should each have to say the one thing that we're taking away from this. Like, what's what's the one thing? I started out on a journey to find out what animals have missionary style sex and what are you chad going to take away from that conversation i'm going to take away something i learned about myself and that is if i was in charge of making animals and i saw a cool tongue i would turn it into a dick <laughs> which is like it's pretty sad to think about and i have been by myself for too long but that's what i'm that's what i've learned you want to know what i you want yes to, i sure do you want to know what i learned i learned that all these scientists and anthropologists think all these animals are are wild and into this weird sex and not a single one of them has figured out how great it is to get choked during it so <laughs> humans number one